Yes, people, back again. Back once again, like the Renegade Master. Fly me to the moon. Back with a new uh, a new video, because there's a hell of a lot been going on since, uh, since I did my last one. I've been on night shift, by the way. That's why I might look a little bit tired, but... Hey ho, things have to be said. And since I last spoke, World War Three, World War Three is about to happen. Not in Russia, in uh, Manchester on the nineteenth. Three D fight night, of course. And things are hotting up now with new developments every day. It seems like, but tonight. Tonight's took, I don't know what to call it, a strange turn, you could say. But, looks like Mr. Dring, Ash Dring, String, Ring, Sting Ring, whatever you want to call him. Personally, he's a bell end, but that's just my opinion anyway. But, uh, the guy ceases to amaze me. Well... All he's been dreaming about since uh, this fight card got announced is to fight on it. Even though the guy's never had a fight in his life, you can clearly see that. Absolute raging alcoholic. But for the unfortunate, uh, unfortunate Donny Mac, who's uh, sadly some. A bleed on the brain apparently uh, there's not many details about that but hope he gets well soon anyway Donny but uh, this has sort of thrown an opportunity out there and looks like a string and all his dringers followers jumping on uh, jumping on the bandwagon and to be fair anyone encouraging a string in any sort of way, should have the heads looked at, to be fair. He's got his army, but, you know, I'll, I'll say this, you, Ash, you've, we've all heard him. We've all heard him why he's raising money, doing stupid things, wax, waxing his chest, eating hot chilli Indians, whatever. Fair enough, Ash, that's a joke, yeah. You're raising a little bit of money for somebody who you don't even know, using his name, Johnny Jab, R.I.P., Johnny. Now, just remember, this night has now been dedicated to the memory of Johnny Jab. And now what we're seeing is Ash String totally forgetting about that message that he's been portraying for the last two weeks. This big charity everything for Johnny Jab you know I haven't heard him mention his name tonight been on several lives the last one three o'clock this morning two hours ago with his with his carrier Harlan holding him up come on Harlan mate give your head a shake just think about it do we really, is, is Ash Dring really worthy? If Dean Lynch and Dougie let Ash on, on this fight card, could be the downfall, turning it into a, to a total farce, if you ask me. Ash Dring, 40 fags a day, crates of Stella, and you know the mock, the mock Pablo, they're mocking him for only having so many weeks training, yet they're pushing Ash into this fight. And 16 days' time, the lad works full-time, apparently, doing roofs, yeah? Who's going to want Ash to put a roof on anything? I wouldn't let him put a roof on my garden shed, mate, to be fair. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. I am, spe I am actually speechless at this minute, and I... We'll see what Ash says about it in the morning, but the other guy, the other guy who's in the shout in a shout to fight Paul, 
And by the way, I think Paul deserves deserves this fight. He's done he's done a lot for for Jab. Hell of a lot of uh, advertising on his channel. And but to be fair, he is he's he's the main attraction as far as the YouTubers are concerned. So of course Ash is gonna wanna fight him. Can't happen, it can't happen. But this other guy, Johnny Mor John Morris. Apparently a bit of a super troll. Don't know anything, don't really know anything about the guy, but I've just looked there on YouTube and I've seen a little clip. I mean, he's doing a bit of shadow boxing. He's got these things on the end of his hands that look like space hoppers, bigger than his head. But uh, he can move, like, he can move. He's, he's got a bit of speed there. So definitely, yeah, uh, definitely looks a bit more of a handful than a string, like to be fair. So I think if this Johnny Morris guy, John Morris, is up for it, I think uh, it's going to be a bit more, a bit more of a challenge for Pablo. But as we can all see, he's uh, arrived in Middlesbrough, big up the borough, UTB, beating Tottenham last night, at the Riverside packed house. 1-0, upwards and onwards to the quarterfinals, Wembley, here we come. Anyway, back to World War Three on the 19th. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, to be fair. It just seems like every day there's, there's another, uh, another twist in the tale. But we'll see. It's about 14, 16 days to go. And I think it's uh, the hype's building up nicely. So, anyway, hopefully we'll get a few more of these done because it's been a while. Sign my car and my car park and work. Finish at seven, off to bed. And see what's happening when I wake up today. And if there's anything else juicy, I'll let you all know. So... For now, peace out. See you, people.